Hi, I'm Chris Prattley, the Corporate Vice President of the Office Media Group. Last spring, we previewed our plans to bring video to M365 via the Stream app built on SharePoint. Now, we want to show you what all is available and preview some work coming in the next few months. We all know video is an especially effective way to communicate, connect, and learn. Until now, video has often felt like something only the pros could deal with. Our vision for video is to make it a mainstream format, as easy to create, consume, edit, share, and manage as texts and documents. Today, we're going to show you what's new in Stream, but we also want to update you on how video is going to improve hybrid work across Teams, PowerPoint, Yammer, OneDrive, SharePoint. You get the idea. Let's take a look, starting with Stream. Owen, what have you got? Hi, I'm Owen Paulus, the Group Program Manager of Stream. Today, I'm going to start by showing you the beginnings of stream.office.com. Just like we offer for other document types, video now has a dedicated home. Here, it's pulling together videos of interest, recent videos, your favorite videos, and videos shared with you. Once I started using this, I wondered how I live without it. I discover valuable videos all the time, and it's my go-to source for a video, the same way I use office.com to find a Word doc. I can even filter this list to find a specific video I know is there. This is available now. And next, Chris is going to show you something we're adding soon to the Stream Start page to enable easy creation. A terrific use case for video in the workplace is explaining to others how to do things. You can launch into recording your screen, recording a message from your webcam, or both at the same time. Instead of writing out steps, I can just show how to file an expense report or walk through a complicated Excel spreadsheet and then share the video with my coworkers. Today, I'm going to tell the team about our Ignite plans and ask them for feedback. From here, I'm going to click record, pick my screen, and start recording. Hey everyone, Ignite is coming up and I'm so excited. We have a ton of your great work to show off. We know some of the things we're gonna demo already, but we would love for you to leave your comments on this video and give us feedback and ideas on what else to include. And don't forget that we are now including cover sheets on all our TPS reports. Be sure to use the new version. We've made a new Excel template for you to fill out and include with all your submissions. Several minutes later. And I guess that's all I have to say about TPS reports. Again, thanks for all your hard work leading up to this Ignite. This video now gets uploaded to my OneDrive. I know some people might prefer to read this message, so I'm going to generate a transcript here to make it more inclusive. More transcription languages will come over time, as well as the ability for the viewer to have the transcript translated to their preferred language. Now, since the TPS report process is pretty complicated, I can also add chapters to this video before I send it on to the team to make it a snap to navigate. All I need to do is pick a moment in the video for each stage of the process and then provide a title. This sort of enhancement makes videos interactive and allows viewers to quickly get the information they need or to skip over parts that are not of interest. I hope Owen finds this handy. Oh great, this Ignite video is finally posted. As I view this video, you can see it's enhanced to make it easier to consume. Chris added all these chapters in stream and they let me quickly jump to the part I'm interested in. Now that videos are fully integrated in M365, I can follow up here using the document collaboration capabilities we're all used to, such as comments with app mentions. I just need to drop a quick comment in here. This is easily the best part of the video, and I'm pretty sure the team's going to agree. Capabilities like this enable me to work asynchronously are critical for hybrid work. I get to see and hear a coworker to understand their intent more fully without needing to be in a meeting together. And this is just the start. Stream and the new player are gonna get a lot richer over time as we add interactivity options, and I'll be able to create and consume wherever I am in M365 as we integrate more endpoints. Since I shared this video with my whole team, I'm curious to see how much the team engaged with my message. Was it effective? 
Right here in context, I can see and reply to any comments people have made, keeping the video central to my workflow. Wow, people really loved my video. Using the analytics now available on every video, I can see how many views the video got and how many unique users. More than that, analytics tell me audience engagement over the length of the video. Hmm, surprisingly, it looks like people dropped off just when I got to the good stuff on TPS reports. If you make videos, you know how critical it is to know whether they're reaching their intended audience. Analytics makes this self-serve so admins don't have to pull the data for me. Next, we'd like to talk more about hybrid work and meetings. With hybrid work the new normal, being able to time shift and work asynchronously is critical for flexibility and focus. Recording meetings in teams allows your coworkers to stay connected even when they couldn't attend due to time zone, availability, or simply desire to be in fewer meetings. Let's see how Teams and the rest of Microsoft 365 has made it easy to catch up to things you've missed and extract what you need from a recording. I'm gonna open a recording that Omar has shared with me. I missed this meeting, so I'm glad videos now support multi-speed playback, which is so handy for those meetings that seem to be on the long side. And when PowerPoint Live is used in a meeting like it was here, Teams will automatically capture the transition between slides using AI to break up the long recording into easier to consume moments. I can see these points of interest right here on the timeline and then click to navigate to the ones I'm most interested in. In addition, media recording comes with high quality transcript that clearly indicates who said what. The transcript has many uses, including making the video accessible but the thing I find myself doing is scanning what was said and jumping to the part of the video so I can hear how it was said and seeing what the reactions of the attendees were. Often tone and body language really matter. Chris also missed this meeting, so let's see how he's gonna find it. Video is on track to pervade all aspects of M365, not just in a dedicated video experience like stream. Already, videos are showing up in search. Here, you can see how I was able to find the meeting Owen and Omar had on aircraft safety. This isn't the only way to find the meeting, but here it shows up along with context from the portion of the video that featured my search term. So I can find that video I knew was out there or stumble on other ones I didn't even know existed on the same topic. Videos also show up in your recommended viewing list thanks to Microsoft Graph. Recommended videos show up here in the Office Home feed or here in the recommended files section when you open up a new tab in the Edge browser, and videos related to a person show up when you click on someone's profile card. Stream videos and recordings can be included in other documents and locations. For example, here's a recording fragment of a key moment in an event embedded in Yammer. It isn't just the raw video, it's the full interactive video document, so it retains its transcript, chapters, points of interest on the timeline, and any other interactive enhancements. All of this unlocks amazing ability to do more with video, but we know that recordings and other videos can contain sensitive information and need to be managed. Now, all videos are subject to the same governance policies as other document types. They are integrated in e-discovery and respect policies such as block download, legal hold, access controls, and more. As you can see across Stream, Teams, and M365, we're beginning to realize the power of video as a document. Another common request we've had is to make it easy to produce customized video portals or corporate communication sites such as these that showcase video. Now we have scenario-based help guides to walk you through adding hero videos on your modern sites using existing web parts to easily weave video into your intranet. In the future, we'll make this even easier by providing enhanced video web parts such as galleries and carousels. To make this straightforward, we'll provide site templates that feature videos beautifully, alongside articles and other content, and retain all the rich customization and branding capabilities of SharePoint. If you haven't explored it yet, Viva is a new set of experiences designed to communicate messages broadly to employees and to disseminate important information to the organization. Viva Connections is a great way to reach employees with news items that include video. You can even schedule the posting so that your video messages show up in all the Viva touch points exactly when you want them to. Video is powerful on desktop, but it really shines on mobile. 
Here you see the Office mobile app, where videos are recommended to me, and I can find them via search or my recommended media list. Listening to meeting recordings while commuting is a great way to stay on top of classes or happenings at work. I can even record a video directly and share it while on the go. Here's Mark to show us how it's done. Mobile videos can include overlays with text messages, ink, or other effects, and you can even record several clips within one video. The new Viva app in Teams Mobile is tailor-made for employee connection, and now it supports enhanced stream videos too. By the way, we'll have a lot more to say about mobile next year. A unique challenge of video is ensuring a quality viewing experience in all sorts of network environments. We've been doing a lot of plumbing work, and you can already experience the first fruits of this effort. Across M365, videos are now much faster to start up and play smoothly with far fewer incidents of buffering. Let's watch an example. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of watching a meeting recording in mobile Teams chat. As you can see, on the left is the previous experience, which takes you out of Teams entirely, and on the right is the new, faster, integrated experience. You can see these improvements all over M365. If you're currently a Stream Classic customer, the wait is over. The migration preview is here. Please sign up to try out a preview of our migration tool. We've been working with many of you to get this right, and now we need you to give us feedback on the real code. The migration tool will help you move your videos from Stream Classic into SharePoint and OneDrive. It will maintain permissions and it will redirect links and embed codes for any stream videos referenced in sites and documents. As we build up more video experiences in M365 and complete the migration tool in 2022, we will set a retirement date for Stream Classic and give you plenty of notice. As I close this section, I want to emphasize that the new stream is ready for you to preview. We made it easy to run alongside Classic Stream, and we've published docs to help get you started. Here are the links where you can learn more. We really hope you'll join us in an Ask the Experts session, where you can talk to us and ask questions to get started. We've got several scheduled this week. Just go to aka.ms Stream Connect to get more info. Earlier, we showed you how you can use Stream and integrated camera experiences on mobile and desktop to record shareable clips using your screen and camera. PowerPoint has revamped its presentation recording experience to incorporate the new Cameo functionality. You can now include yourself in your own recorded presentations, leveraging the PowerPoint Designer AI to make your message more personal and impactful. You may have heard that Microsoft recently acquired ClipChamp, an in-browser video editing experience. Although we're not ready to announce availability of ClipChamp in Microsoft 365 right now, we'd like to show you a little of how it works. You'll see how easy it will be for regular folks to make their own high quality videos at work or at school and as part of a team. Here's Anna from ClipChamp with a demo. Thanks for the introduction, Chris. I am Anna, head of product here at ClipChamp, and we are thrilled to be part of the Microsoft team. ClipChamp empowers anyone to tell stories through video. And now at Microsoft, we're committed to make creation even easier, more accessible and fun for our users. Our video creation platform gives everyone the confidence and support they need to create what they want quickly and with great outcomes. Making professional looking videos doesn't have to be hard. With our large template library, you can access templates for any industry and fully customize it to make it your own. Swapping your own footage, import from OneDrive, use the screen and camera recorder, change the background music text and add a logo to create your own personalized video asset. A consistent look and feel builds customer trust in your brand. With the use of a brand kit, you can be confident knowing your team will deliver clean, consistent videos that are memorable for all the right reasons. Simply set your brand fonts, colors, and logos, then easily apply them to any videos. With our library of over 1 million stock videos, music tracks, filters, stickers, and sound effects, ClipChamp allows you the freedom to explore your creativity and lets you tell your story in your own unique way. Our customers love ClipChamp, and we are sure that you will too. We look forward to continuing to empower people everywhere to express themselves through video.
Thanks for watching. We value your feedback and are really excited about all the amazing video experiences coming to Microsoft 365 this year. Jump in and learn more with all these resources on the screen.